Would you be shocked if I told you that you can actually have fun playing Marvel Snap while also gaining ranks? Well, that is exactly what this deck does. Guys, this deck is absolutely incredible. It's one of my absolute favorite pool two decks to play simply because it is so damn fun to play. And guess what? It's good too. Let's talk about the ranked Jubilee deck. Now, obviously Jubilee is the card that is like the, the kind of focal point of this deck. The Jubilee combo on uh, turn four on a reveal, you basically play a card from your deck at the location. Not bad. Well, what are you aiming for here, Alex? Well, on turn four, maybe you hit Chavez, who's always in your deck until turn six. So there's a good chance you hit Chavez. Wonderful. You got the Hulk. Who doesn't want to pull a Hulk out on turn four for four cost? Then you got the Infinite, a target for uh, for Jubilee, but also a key component of your actual combo. Because if you pull someone like Chavez or Hulk, you got Sunspot. You control the location with Storm. You protect the Sunspot with armor. You finish turn six with Infinite. So we got ourselves a Sunspot Infinite combination here with Storm, but we also have the Splash of Jubilee. We've got the counter for all the Devil Dinosaurs in the ongoing decks you get to see. Shang-Chi, also a good choice as well. And Vision, now this actually surprised me because I was like, Vision, I, we need a, another good card that maybe is underrepresented in current deck building. Pulling Vision out of Jubilee is actually pretty solid because you get to move them on turn five and on turn six, or you just don't move them at all, and it's just pure debate. It's perfect. It's a great card for this deck in a very viable turn five play. We got the sixes. We don't want to overload on the sixes, but Vision represents a pretty damn solid card for Jubilee to hit. Iceman, Nightcrawler are just value cards. Okoye is just a good card. I, I feel like maybe a little upper underrepresented in a lot of decks right now with the Black Panther stuff coming out, then maybe you're seeing a lot more Okoye than traditionally, but also make Chavez a 610. Makes... The Hulk is 613. Not as impactful on Infinite, obviously, but Vision becomes a 5-8. Okay, now we're talking, right? You get a lot of additional value, especially when you're pulling people out of the deck. Okoye benefits that exact mechanic. So I think that this deck is really damn good. I have a ton of fun playing. I've got a whole whack of gameplay highlights that you're going to see right now. They're recorded live on Twitch TV. I would love for you to join us on Twitch, guys. I have a link in the description, a link in the comment section. We have so much fun. It is an absolute blast playing in front of an absolutely wonderful audience and once again, taking your advice and building decks with you. I hope to see you there and enjoy these wonderful gameplay clips. This is, okay, now we have a curve here, so this is going to be nice. Hit him right in the feels with this hand play here. Iceman, Scarlet Witch. Limbo, okay. Limbo is fascinating. Ongoing effects are doubled. I ain't having any of that. We can't take advantage of that, folks. We gotta get rid of that. Now, we could you bait it into Enchantress, of course. Wind, aid my hand. We need to pull Jessica Jones right now. Jessica Jones. That's unnecessary. Oh, we got a Koi. That is so spicy. Thank you, game. That's exactly what I wanted. Thank you for that. That's so, so spicy. He just doesn't play into it, okay. He plays Omega Red, lol, okay. He's committed to this Omega Red play. Oh, look, it's Jessica Jones. All right, so what I think we do is we skip this turn and play Infinite, because we're going to run up Sunspot and we're going to defend the Omega Red. We snap on this damn fool. We snap on this fool, because if he's committing Omega Red, he thinks that he's going to run Omega Red up, and that is how he's going to win the flooded location. Is this Iron Man? I knew it was going to be Iron Man. He's man-fighting this location, which is fine because we still have Enchantress in our deck. We also have a turn seven, so we have additional chances to pull it. So we're going to Infinite here. Also, like, he's committing a lot to Omega Red, and unless he has Onslaught, like, it's not going to be enough. Lol. Um, so about that. So we need Enchantress, like, right now. We kind of really... Oh, my God. How blessed are we? Let's go.
Alright, we're gonna play Sunspot here. We have the Akoya for the next play as well. We actually have a nice curve here. We got a little, uh... We just gotta get a little lucky with the Jubilee play. I don't know if we actually contest Mojo World. We might have to. We storm the Isle of Silence. We contest Mojo World. Okoye is pretty solid here. We actually have the right cards in our hand right now. If we can get to turn four with these cards, things, things are gonna be good. There's the Okoye play, very nice. Shocker, okay. Very interesting. Now I actually question my idea of storming the Isle of Silence, because that's a location now he can't play. He can't play his Patriot. But, I still think we do it this way. We probably Jubilee into Mojo World, by the way. He plays Debris. No, we Jubilee here. This is a very high percentage play. We are very likely to hit Professor X. We're very likely to hit Hulk or Infinite. Okay, Chavez comes out. Perfect. Okay, we pulled Infinite and we pulled Professor X. We locked this location. We don't even need Infinite because we have Hulk. We locked this location, he won't expect it. Um, we ha he has enough reach for the flooded location, I think we leave it. If he plays multiple cards, he plays one card, so we do guarantee the win in Mojo World here. Okay, yeah, that's a guaranteed win here. He plays the Patriot mid, he loses that lane, he's down, I snap, and now we look at playing the Hulk. He won't be able to contest the 13 Hulk. So this is a very clean win. And this is what this deck does, right? It didn't work as planned in the flooded location, but I knew when he had Patriot that we weren't able to contest. He goes two there. Uh, does he, he plays Ultron? Buddy, what? Yeah, no, there's no way. There's no way he was gapping Hulk. So that's like the nice thing about Hulk as well. Like it's such a clean finisher. Like this was a textbook piloting of this deck. Okay, we're gonna go uh, Sunspot into Lost Diablo's base. The Vault, eh? Bruh. You want to snap already, son? I'm going to throw Koya here. Come on, Koya. I love the, the variant art, by the way. Cable. Oh, why you got to steal one of my cards, man? Feels bad. Feels bad. Mojo World. Oh, you should have held that. Okay, I think we play, I think we play into the, play into the Koye here. He plays Wong, he sets up Wong? We have to actually prof X this lane. To prevent him from playing a big combo on six on it. This is the correct play, we Hulk over there. Cause he's not gonna- if he- so what combos gonna he have on 5 with Wong? What's he gonna have with Wong? Does he set up Mystique here for a huge turn 6? If he plays Mystique, he loses. I don't think he's expecting me to play Prof X. I want to restrict his ability to play on turn 6. What's he play? White Tiger. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. But he does give this lane. This is a 15 play. I could lose. He has 10 to 9. He probably has Odin. Which is an 8. It goes to 18. I'm at 15. I lose. Never back down. Let's go for the content. We're going to give these cubes away. But I don't give a crap. Odin. It's, Doc oh, it's Dr. Doom. He's short. He's short. Let's go, folks. Easy cubes. Let's go. Unbelievable! More confetti! Let's go! He plays Sunspot. I play Iceman. Play Akoya here. 
That starter deck is spicy. Koya comes out. It's a zero play into what? Ebony Maw? Yeah, that's what I predicted. Okay. We're going to have to give this lane. We give that location. It's not a big deal. We storm here. Now, we have not pulled any of our heavy hitters here. So as long as we do not pull, like, Hulk or Infinite next, he's playing a destroy deck. We don't have Killmonger here, which would have been so good right now. Okay, we have we should hit someone big here. Oh my god, Jessica Jones, not what we wanted. Jubilees. Pulls Infinite, kicks Jubilee over. Bruh. I think we win left. <laughs> we just snapped at each other. <laughs> Let's go for the content, baby! He pulled his Infinite. He thinks he's got this game. Yes! That's what you get, buddy! That's what you get! Let's go! He skipped his turn! He ran up Sunspot! It was not enough!